My friend, Archbishop Alfred Xureb, the Apostolic Nuncio, my friends, the Ambassador of Honduras, Ambassador of Costa Rica, the Charge d'Affaires of the United States, the wife of the Ambassador of Peru, who is representing him today. E, em nome de quem eu também cumprimento os demais representantes da comunidade brasileira que estão aqui presentes. É... É... Professor Ted Hill, it's a great privilege to have you here with us. I remember, as I told you fondly, my visit to Chadwick School, to Chadwick School and your kind and warm welcome to me when I was there. Uh, Mr. Hong Ju Ho, I welcome you to the embassy. It's a great pleasure to have you here. Representatives of Korean companies, representatives of the press, we are of course, you all give us a great, um, to me, to my wife, to me, to the embassy indeed, you, gave, you give us a great pleasure to be here at the Brazilian embassy this afternoon. Of course, the main focus of this gathering is a very special person who shares a common bond with all of us and is the object of our admiration and of the honor that is about to be conveyed to him. When I started my mission here three and a half years ago, I was introduced to Dr. Suleiman Jalencar Dias, a leading personality in the Brazilian community in Korea. During my stay, I came to realize that he was that, but much more. A prominent Brazilian re residing in Korea for more than 20 years, he has been playing a particularly relevant role in the promotion and defense of Brazilian interests in this country. He has held the very prestigious title of Honorary Citizen of Seoul since 2007. As an educator with a doctorate in social studies, he has been for many years the Dean of Admissions at Chadwick International School, based in the pioneer smart city of Songdo, in the municipality of Incheon of which he is one of the most openly declared enthusiasts. In this capacity, he has promoted a series of agreements between the school and foreign missions uh, based in, in, in Seoul, including, the, of course, the Brazilian Embassy, that has greatly facilitated uh, the enrollment of dependents of their personnel in the school and consequently increased the interaction between the diplomatic community and the school. Having developed a wide network of local contacts during the years he has lived in Korea, Dr. Solomon Diaz has been able to give the embassy essential assistance and advice in the organization of so many visits by personalities from every corner of Brazil interested in the Korean experience in education and science and technology. In relation to the integration of the Brazilian and expatriate communities in Korea, Professor Diaz has also founded and presided the Brazil-Korea Association. He has presided the Korean, Korea Council of Overseas Schools. He has presided, I don't know if he has founded, but I think he has founded as well, 
the Songdo Foreign Residents Advisory Board. And he has been a member, and I think he has also presided the Seoul Council of Honorary Citizens. Before we proceed with the actual investiture, I'd like to explain a little bit about the order of Rio Branco. It is the main national diplomatic award created in 1963, named after the patron of the Brazilian diplomacy, the Baron of Rio Branco, who in the early years of the 20th century and of the Republic was the chief negotiator responsible for the peace, peaceful settlement of all the extensive borders Brazil shares with its 10 neighbors. It is meant to be awarded to Brazilian citizens and foreign personalities who have made significant contributions to the strengthening of the relations between Brazil and one or more of its foreign partners. Every year, on the 20th of April, the anniversary of the birth of Rio Branco, we celebrate Diplomats' Day, it was yesterday, <laughs> and hold investiture ceremonies for new members of the order. Recognizing the many achievements and contributions by Professor Dr. Suleiman de Alencar Dias towards the strengthening of the already good ties that bind Brazil and Korea, as well as his efforts in support of the Brazilian community in Korea, the President of the Republic, Jair Bolsonaro, Grand Master of the Order of Rio Branco, has decided to confer the Order of Rio Branco on Dr. Suleiman Dias and to have the corresponding diploma issued. It is therefore my pleasure to formally invest Dr. Soleiman Diaz with the insignia of an officer of the Order of Rio Branco and to convey to him the diploma. Ambassador and friend, um, Luis Enrique Sobreira Lopes, other ambassadors and dignitaries, diplomats uh, present here today, my colleague, my um, boss, my friends, old friends, thank you for being here. Um, I had to write this because I, if not, those who know me, I would talk for four hours, <laughs> non-stop. So I wrote my speech for the very first time. <laughs> Mr. Hill knows how it goes, and Mirella too. So anyway, so I wrote it down, and I will try to be, uh, uh, I think I, I was able to uh, yesterday night to get to the point that I can see how I go. So, and then I forget that I actually have a speech. So let's get started <laughs> again. Thank you for being here, especially those coming from outside Seoul. I know some of you are not from Seoul, so I really appreciate those who came all the way from where you came from. Uh, what an honor to have this ceremony here at this beautiful Brazil Hall, which I so much uh, celebrated a few years ago uh, after hearing the embassy uh, of Brazil was uh, designing it or planning to have it. So what a privilege to have this event hold here. Uh, I believe it's the very first, uh, at least, exhibition 
uh, after more than two years that, uh, of course, this space had to be closed because of the pandemic. So what a, what a privilege. So first of all, my gratitude to God for allowing us to be here after so much we all experienced and still experience all over the world, including, of course, in Brazil. So we are very blessed uh, indeed to be here. So that's, I think, the most important um, thing I would like to address. But thank you, Ambassador, for uh, such a, an important uh, accolade, um, recognition. I'm deeply honored, um, at the same time humbled, to receive this uh, recognition. Honored because I can still remember exactly two decades ago, uh, the day I came to talk to the ambassador uh, then and, and other diplomats here at the embassy. The embassy was actually moving from uh, one other location to here. And I asked them if there was any Brazilian community um, in Korea or if I could start one, <laughs> an association. So I left with their blessings. Uh, in fact, there was no Brazil-Korea uh, association. But they said, you know, since then, I believe we never stopped participating in every single event to which we have been invited to um, as the very small community we had back then. So uh, and those invitations were to represent Brazil in different ways. Uh, and that happened all over Korea. So from Seoul to Busan, from Daegu to uh, Gangwon province, and many, many, many other places in these two decades. Either organizing cultural gatherings, participating in festivals, including supporting events for the, those of you who were here or from Korea, the World Cup in 2002, we were so busy then. Hosting a reception for the president of Brazil in 2005 was what a, what a moment for us with the Brazilian community back then in 2005, um, and then hosting a monthly Brazilian movie screening in partnership with the Korea Foundation, as we did for so many years, sharing a bit of my expertise with those who were visiting, politicians, um, artists, ministers, uh, you name it, who came to visit from Brazil, um, and sharing um, a little bit of, of our experience and in the last uh, 11, 12 years um, at our beautiful uh, Chadwick International Campus when they would come to Songdo to visit us. So it was always a privilege to all of us. We had the chance to welcome, for instance, the Brazilian athletes who came for the Pyeongchang uh, Winter Olympics. And even in so many occasions, I had to dance on stages <laughs> all over the country, our traditional dance from the northeastern region of Brazil, Forró, <laughs> including getting a prize for best performance. <laughs> all done with no talents, but with a lot of love and a lot of excitement, a lot of intensity. I could never say no to to those invitations. So my motto has always been, yes, we can do it, count on me. So that being honored to be humbled for getting this, I think it's such a, a, an important recognition, right? My hope is, is only one, is that this uh, prize, this, this uh, certificate uh, from the president serves as an inspiration to many others, right? To do exactly what I did. If you cannot find something you are looking for, uh, create it. If you think that what is out there is not what you are looking for, recreate it. So that's what I did. Always say yes when you are strongly feeling you should do something for a good cause. That has been my inspiration. Promoting my country, my culture, uh, ambassador, in my opinion, is a good cause. Helping other Brazilians to have a happier life in Korea and enjoying this incredible country is a good cause. For sure, I feel it's my mission here uh, in Korea. Nothing is perfect <laughs> here in Korea, nor in Brazil, or wherever we, we come from but we can always find fascination 
in what may seem just a normal place, just a normal uh, statue, just a normal lake. Beauty is just like the sun, in my opinion, always there. Sometimes we just need to wait, get a different angle, and open our eyes in the right direction. People always ask me if I feel I should go back to Brazil. You can imagine how many times I got that question. Or if I don't think I could do a bit more if I were over there. Well, I'm convinced I can do much more here than I would be able, I wouldn't be able to do maybe half of what I do here if I were in the system over there. I have a deep admiration for the diplomatic career, a clear understanding of the value of a politician, a real sense of appreciation for doctors, I almost became one, but I'm glad I didn't become a diplomat, a politician, nor a physician. Education was my strada, right? My, the road I decided to take when I was three years old, teaching very seriously to the rocks and coconut trees <laughs> in the backyard of my house where I grew up. That was my, for one year, teaching very seriously those rocks and coconut trees. So time has passed in 2007 the Seoul city mayor gave me an honorary citizenship for my contributions, as Ambassador mentioned, to the promotion of global understanding in the city. I felt extremely honored that day as well for being recognized in front of thousands and thousands of people at Seoul Plaza. That honorary citizenship is not just a title, as this one that I'm receiving today. It served me as a motivator, as uh, it, it makes me think the importance of continuing doing what I always did. Never give up, because there's so much we can do in the time we have, despite all the challenges that we encounter every day. Then in 2012, the Korean Ministry of Culture, Sports, and Tourism opened, not too far from here, the National Museum of Contemporary, Korean Contemporary History. Beautiful, beautiful place. And for the inaugural exhibition, they wanted to feature the first Korean uh, immigration programs uh, led by the Korean government. And Brazil, as you may know, was Korea's uh, first destination uh, in Latin America. The curator went all the way to Incheon, uh, uh, Songdo, to interview me, and they wanted to have a section of the exhibition dedicated to my journey from Brazil to Korea and asked me how I felt being an immigrant to South Korea. Well, I told her, thank you for letting me know, because I never thought about it. It was then that I realized that I had indeed left everything behind to live here for almost half of my life. And among many other places that I had the chance to visit, I had chosen Korea to spend my days. I was officially recognized as an immigrant, which I didn't know I was one. <laughs> so moments like these are just reminders that yes, it is all worth it. All the efforts to spend hours and money making pastéis, the Brazilian pastries, um, to share with people visiting the Brazilian booth at fairs are worth it. Talking to people, famous or not, about Korea and cultural differences, worth it. Exploring Korea, as you can see here, and finding hidden gems everywhere I go, all worth it. And then, a few years ago, I decided to purchase, and I'm going now into the second portion of today's um, event. I decided to, I believe it was not a mistake, because it made me happier to purchase a actual, I love taking pictures, but I never had a decent camera. So I decided to get a real camera, inspired by mentor and friend here taking pictures, uh, Chae Hee Jun. I always enjoyed taking pictures, perhaps too many of them. I always shared them on my uh, social media, right? Um, perhaps too much, and my apologies for that. 
But I always thought that it was part of my mission to allow others to travel with me. Not everyone has the privilege, as I had, to go where I had the chance to go, to see the marvel I see when I'm out there exploring the world. Well, that was before the pandemic. Um, be, the pandemic made me realize and see the beauties of this amazing country. It forced me to travel nationally. I'm not sure how many of you have been to not so usual places such as North Korea, Uzbekistan, Armenia, you name it, or the fascinating countryside of Ethiopia. I always felt I was traveling with somebody or some people, maybe many people, <laughs> although I was alone in those trips. So my followers are just like my travel companions, is how I feel. The most important information about this exhibition, ladies and gentlemen, is that I'm not a professional photographer and certainly will most likely not never become one. <laughs> As I lack two of the, I would say, most important attributes of a good photographer, patience and memory. To remember all the hundreds of functions of one single camera, I don't have that talent. But I do have maybe the most important virtue of a photographer, passion. So I share this passion here with you today. And after I had the, the idea of holding this photo exhibition, and Ambassador uh, Luis Enrique uh, gave me the green light to do this, I realized I had the tough task to choose a few images out of the thousands and thousands of pictures I had taken in the last few years. So it's a nightmare. But after thinking a lot and some advice and time going through hundreds of files, I selected these 23 pictures um, that portray very superficially the images of beauty, if you remember the title of the exhibition, Images of Beauty, I find in Korea through my lens. Every weekend, every break I have almost every day. The pandemic forced me, as I mentioned, to stay in the country. What a blessing that was for me. I spent my vacation after 20 years in Korea, going everywhere. So I'm always on the road. And if you see, uh, this is a bit of a glimpse of my life, faith, my passion for history, unknown places, metropolises, countryside, future, past, a little bit of everything. As another of my models go, life is too short for such a vast world. I say this almost every day. <laughs> life is too short for such an amazing world. So I run literally, those who know me know how my rhythm. Um, sometimes I still don't have the patience to spend minutes waiting for the right moment as my friend Hijun has. I capture what I see at that second. But the passion is there, always there. Ladies and gentlemen, I dedicate the order of uh, Rio Branco, the medal, and this exhibition to one person that uh, is the rock of my life, right? My beloved mother, my idol, my role model, my inspiration, uh, who's from above. Um, certainly very proud of me. So as she was her whole life. I also dedicate the ceremony to my father, who's still with us, not here, but very far away. A man of intellect, righteousness, rectitude, someone I love listening to and whom I learned and learn so much every time I talk to him. I shared this moment with my siblings as well, my, what I call them, my Porto Seguro, a, a safe port where I can always go back and find only pure, unconditional love. And above all, I thank God for allowing me to do what I can until I can for a better world. And today, I thank Korea and the Koreans. I have today here my very first Korean friend, so I'm glad that he's here listening to this because he's the reason, one of the reasons why I came to Korea. I always admired the relationship between Koreans and their families. 
So for allowing me to experience so much every day. I hope I can still give back after having received so much from South Korea. Living overseas and particularly in places so different from our own is not for everybody. It's absolutely for me. <laughs> I'm still finding enchantment every day here in Korea. So after receiving this medal, I also have something else to do. It's my duty to do this. And it's a surprise. Nobody knows. Ambassador has no idea what I have thought and prepared. Exactly 20 years, I founded, yes, the Korea Brazil Association, and yes, Ambassador, the Honorary, so Honorary Citizens Council, the, uh, so the Foreign Advisory Board. I looked, when I found the Korea Brazil Association, I was looking for very audacious people like me. And together, we managed to embark on many adventures promoting Brazil, as I mentioned, in Korea, and sharing Korea with Brazilians. For his efforts to promote Brazil in Korea during perhaps the most difficult times. And most importantly, for the friendship we established, which shall be maintained wherever we may be in the near future. So, Ambassador, if you could perhaps accept this, very simple, it's not, um, but it is very meaningful to me and I believe to all Brazilians who are in here. So, thank you, Mr. <laughs> It, it says, you know, for uh, his contributions to the promotion of, of uh, uh, Brazil in Korea, and I hope... Totally unexpected. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad it is, and I hope you, um, you will... Um, we will keep this uh, connection and the friendship that we've uh, built in the last uh, few years that you've been here. So, and I have to thank you for allowing me uh, to, uh, to have this exhibition here. It's probably the, the first and the last um, of, of, of my photographic career. Um, we, we never know. But I really appreciate the fact that you uh, allowed me to have this uh, uh, here. This event almost couldn't happen, as you can imagine, because of the pandemic. Restrictions, So we could finally invite a few people. So you are the very uh, VIP, the very VIP, highly selected. Uh, uh, we had to go at least 15 times through the list to find those uh, 30 people that would be invited that I had the honor to become friends with for the last, in some cases, three decades, almost, no, two, at least almost, yeah. Some of you are my friends and, and, and slash brothers for, for many, many, many years. Uh, others not so long ago, and even some of you who I just met. Um, so we are now friends, colleagues, um, my boss, my uh, 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 very close friends for a very long time, all very, very important people to me. So each one of you really means a, a lot. So my, my deepest appreciation Muito obrigado, gracias, grazie, um, and kansamida. Has been a, a great. So, just kansamida. Just, just uh, thank you for the flowers. Josunim was my advisor at my. Um, doctoral uh, program and he, I know how busy he is, he's really involved with uh, politics and, and all that, um, politician himself, but he is here today. So unfortunately, we cannot have, offer uh, drinks and, and salgadinhos and, and today, but please enjoy the pictures and a, a bit of uh, Brazilian music with, uh, 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 as you can see, the, as I talk a lot, I write a lot. <laughs> So that's a lot of information in each picture, but it was prepared with a lot of love for you so that you will go explore Korea as much as I did. Amazing, amazing places to visit. 
So enjoy. I hope you will leave tonight having met a new person. I want to particularly thank Coronel Alcoforado for helping me, the Brazilian military uh, defense attache here, who helped me so much with this uh, exhibition. This is a friendship that we also uh, built. I want to thank so many people, but uh, Hijin, uh, Lee Hijin, who's the CEO of uh, Lee, Chen, Lee Klen, yes, who very kindly donated the coffee you will be taking home uh, tonight. You will be tasting a very, very special coffee uh, that even our Korean president drinks. So it's not a coffee, right? So it's a very special one. So please enjoy it. I also prepared uh, with a lot of love yesterday night at three in the morning, a small gift for each one of you with one picture from this exhibition. So please make sure that you take one. Yes. I hope you like it. It's something very, very simple, but done with a lot of love. They are the images of beauty of Korea, and I hope you share uh, the small frames. Those who know me, I don't like picture frames, but, but they are reminders of all these amazing places, uh, uh, images of, of Korea. So cheers, life is beautiful. I'm glad that you were uh, here. Once again, thank you, uh, Ambassador, uh, for hosting this ceremony at this beautiful uh, uh, Brazil Hall. Meu muito, muito obrigado. Thank you so much for coming, and please enjoy the pictures, and I hope I can uh, see you around. So thank you, and thank you. Soleimã, é, que honra é, ter você como amiga. Você é uma pessoa sensacional, iluminada, e eu sinto muito orgulho de toda a sua trajetória e de ter é, você aqui do nosso lado, na Coreia, como amigo e como nosso representante do Brasil. Essa exposição é o ápice, é, de tudo dessa trajetória, né? essa medalha e essa exposição com essas imagens maravilhosas. É, parabéns e é, realmente você está de parabéns. Parabéns, Soleimã. É, é realmente uma, uma, um prazer tê-lo como amigo aqui na Coreia, uma sorte, uma, uma bênção de Deus. Muito, muito, realmente, parabéns pelo trabalho, pela exposição, pela, 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 pelo reconhecimento, pela medalha do Rio Branco. Isso mostra a, a pessoa especial que você é o trabalho que você tem feito aqui. É um reconhecimento de, de todos nós, direta ou indiretamente. Muito, muito parabéns, continue assim. Uma alegria muito grande em poder presenciar, assistir essa cerimônia em que o professor e grande amigo Soleiman Dias recebeu a comenda, a medalha Rio Branco. É uma data importante para o segmento diplomático do nosso Brasil. É um devido reconhecimento. E junto com esse desse momento também, eu tive a oportunidade de, no dia de hoje, é, presenciar e assistir e acompanhar a montagem e a exibição desse maravilhoso, desse fantástico é, é, trabalho que foi executado pelo professor Soleiman Dias. Então, fotos da Coreia com explicações, com a história, que eu pude, inclusive, aprender muito. Então, agradeço a oportunidade, a, o convite do professor Soleiman Dias para que ele compartilhou essa alegria, esse momento dele, em receber essa medalha e, poder, e também poder é, expor esse trabalho 
as fotos no dia de hoje. Muito obrigado, professor Soleimani Dias. Isso é em nome da Aditância de Defesa Naval do Exército e da Aeronáutica na República da Coreia. Eu, o adido militar, Coronel Helios, agradeço de coração. Muito obrigado. Tchau, Sole. É uma joia, um prazer para mim vir a este evento, porque assim ricordiamo i tuoi vent'anni in Corea, vissuti con amore, passione, come tu sai fare, nell'amare la Corea e i coreani. Una cultura così diversa dalla tua, però si vede la tua generosità, il tuo impegno nel costruire il mondo unito, no? tra le culture diverse e tra popoli diversi. Bello vedere le foto che hai fatto in questa mostra, che ci esponi e tutti i lavori che hai fatto per i brasiliani presenti in Corea e anche per eh, gli stessi coreani e gli altri immigrati che ci sono. È proprio una, una gioia. Mi sembra che esprimano il, quello che tu hai in cuore. Bene, ti faccio tanti auguri di poter continuare questo tipo di lavoro per tanti tanti anni e di, raccogliere, di poter raccogliere tanti tanti bei frutti. Auguri Sole. Querido amigo Soleiman Dias, eu quero te felicitar e parabenizar uma vez mais por esta ocasião em que você recebe essa medalha de honra ao mérito Rio Branco. É um reconhecimento pela sua dedicação, pelo seu compromisso e por esses muitos anos de trabalho na em fortalecer os vínculos de amizade entre as comunidades do Brasil e da Coreia. Deus abençoe você, parabéns pela sua inteligência, por essa grande e bonita rede de amigos e de amizades que você criou, tem criado e vai continuar criando. Né? Parabéns pelas belas fotos, por estas instantâneas é, imagens que você imortalizou das belezas naturais da Coreia. Parabéns por o grande número de amigos que você reúne aqui nessa ocasião, por esse reconhecimento diplomático, vamos dizer assim, do, do Brasil e que você continue assim testemunhando essa alegria, essa vontade de viver e de compartilhar a vida e de fazer novas amizades e de passar para frente o conhecimento e as belezas da Coreia e do Brasil. Deus abençoe, sucesso, parabéns, grande abraço. Querido Sole, realmente encontrar-te aqui em Seul foi uma das coisas mais significativas e grandes para mim. Estar presente em esta condecoração ha sido um honor acompanhar-te e felicitar-te por esta exposição de quadros, de fotos que realmente eh, mostram a calidez de pessoa que tu eres. Também as palavras que dijiste com tantos valores que vives são um exemplo a seguir. Eu creio que tienes que estar muito orgulhoso de toda tu família, de toda tu trayectoria profissional e toda tu trayectoria como ser, como persona, como humano, porque realmente este, inspiras e nos inspiras a nós. Tu cercanía, tu amor, tu, tu, tu ajuda em tantos este, eventos que hemos tenido em estes poucos meses que hemos compartido me llena de mucha alegría por haberlo hecho en forma conjunta, eh, sabiendo que compartimos ideales que hemos aprendido desde hace muchos años. Así que, felicitaciones, yo dejo Corea y te llevo en el recuerdo y seguro que nos vamos a encontrar de nuevo. Gracias, un abrazo. Yo hoy tuve el placer de presidir aquí en la embajada en Seúl, uma cerimônia em homenagem a uma figura muito especial que eu conheci há três anos e meio no momento em que eu comecei a minha missão como embaixador do Brasil na Coreia, há três anos e meio. O Soleiman me foi apresentado na época como um uma figura líder da comunidade brasileira aqui. E agora, por coincidência, eu, no final da minha missão aqui, sou encarregado de prestar uma homenagem do governo brasileiro 
ao entregar a ele ser o portador da Ordem do Rio Branco, a nossa Ordem Diplomática, reconhecendo os inúmeros méritos do Soleiman como um uh, assistente quase da Embaixada no adensamento das relações do Brasil com a Coreia e também nas inúmeras atividades que ele desenvolve de apoio à comunidade brasileira aqui. Comunidade de expatriados estrangeiros aqui de modo geral, mas particularmente dos brasileiros aqui. De modo que completa-se um ciclo. Ao chegar, eu fui apresentado a ele. Pouco antes de partir, eu tenho esse grande prazer, essa honra de presidir a cerimônia de reconhecimento dos méritos do Soleimã e de entrega da condecoração da Ordem do Rio Branco, da Ordem Diplomática Brasileira a ele. Portanto, foi com muito prazer que eu fiz isso hoje e tive a surpresa, também muito agradável, de receber das mãos dele um prêmio que aprendi também, que foi a segunda vez que foi concedida essa homenagem a um cidadão brasileiro aqui desde que foi criado. De modo que é, foi é, uma tarde realmente muito especial aqui nas instalações do Brasil Hall da Embaixada e termino praticamente minha missão aqui com essa função tão gratificante para mim. Muito obrigado ao Soleiman por tudo que ele fez e tem feito pela Embaixada, pela comunidade brasileira, pelas relações do Brasil com a Coreia. Então, é, foi um momento, acabamos né, talvez de experimentar um dos tantos momentos da vida em que a gente pode, antes de mais nada, como eu falei no discurso, agradecer a Deus por ter dado, né, me dado a chance de, de contribuir de alguma forma para ou promover a cultura brasileira na Coreia ou de promover a Coreia para os brasileiros. Então, de certa forma, nesses, nessas mais de duas décadas né, que aqui estamos, é, é isso que eu acho que Deus nos deu, me deu a possibilidade de dar esse contributo, de certa forma, recebi muito né, da Coreia e dos coreanos e como retributo, né, ou retribuição a essa, a essa a tanto que eu recebi, obviamente, sempre me senti no papel de, de dar aquilo que eu podia, de contribuir. Essa exposição são 23 fotos de tantos e tantos dos lugares que eu tive a chance de conhecer na Coreia, no último ano e meio, mais ou menos, ou dois anos, né, onde eu pude estar visitando, vi, viajando pela Coreia e registrando cada momento desse, cada foto, cada desses 23 são tantas e tantas, imagina o trabalho que deu para escolher essas essas vinte e poucas fotos, né? Mas cada uma delas conta uma história, cada uma delas tem uma tem um porquê por detrás e eu tento passar para as pessoas a grande lição, eu acho que, é, eu falo sempre, a vida é muito curta para um mundo tão vasto, para um mundo tão grande. Então que a gente continue né, sempre nessa, nessa energia, encontrando uma força de encontrar algo novo, né, alguma coisa nova diante do, do, do comum, né, de encontrar beleza naquilo que a gente vê todos os dias. Então, seria, seria essa uma, uma mensagem. Como eu queria né, que minha família, que, que minha mãe, né, é, é, que o papai, que meus irmãos estivessem aqui, mas eu sei que, que esse amor é, é infinito, é incondicional, e a gente é, continue, continua nessa dimensão de poder continuar conhecendo, aprendendo a cada dia, que é essa grande aventura nossa, de viver no exterior. Um abraço a todos.